the British South Africa Company appointed a variety of officials to govern southern Rhodesia called Zimbabwe since 1980 between 1890 and 1923. The most prominent of these were the administrator and the chief magistrate, the first of which was in effect the head of government during this time. As such, he held a seat on the Legislative Council of Southern Rhodesia ex officio. The post of administrator was officially created by Section 8 of the Southern Rhodesia Order in Council of 1894, but in practice had existed as a deputy to the Chief Magistrate, who was the Principal Officer from 1890. The term of office was theoretically three years, though it was common to reappoint incumbents. There was, in addition, an acting administrator, who was a deputy. The administrator office became defunct when Southern Rhodesia received responsible government within the British Empire in October 1923. It was replaced by the post of Premier, which was renamed Prime Minister in 1933. Chief Magistrates of Southern Rhodesia The 24th of July 1891 to the 18th of September 1891, A. R. Cahoon, acting. The 18th of September 1891 to the 7th of October 1893, Dr. Leander Starr Jameson, K. C. M. G. C. B. The 7th of October 1893 to the 10th of September 1894, A. H. F. Duncan, acting. Topic: Administrators of Southern Rhodesia. The 1st of October 1890 to the 10th of September 1894, A. R. Cahoon. The 10th of September 1894 to the 2nd of April 1896, Dr. Leander Starr Jameson, K. C. M. G. C. B. The 2nd of April 1896 to the 5th of December 1898, Earl Grey. The 5th of December 1898 to the 20th of December 1901, William Henry Milton, Administrator of Mashonaland and Senior Administrator of Southern Rhodesia. The 5th of December 1898 to March 1901, Hon. Arthur Lawley, Administrator of Matabeleland. The 20th of December 1901 to the 1st of November 1914, Sir William Henry Milton. The 1st of November 1914 to the 1st of September 1923, Sir Francis Chaplin. Topic: <laughs> Acting Administrators of Southern Rhodesia. 1894 to 1895 Colonel Francis Rhodes 1895 to 1897 Mr Justice Joseph Vincent 1897 to 1898 William Henry Milton 1898 to 1899 Hon Sir Thomas Charles Scanlon 1899 to 1902, Hon. Arthur Lawley, Mashonaland. 1902-1903, John Gilbert Coetzer. 1903 to 1903, Hon. Sir Thomas Charles Scanlon. 1903-1904, John Gilbert Coetzer. 1904 to 1909, Hon. Sir Thomas Charles Scanlon 1909 to 1914 Francis James Newton 1914 to 1923 Sir Clarkson Henry Treadgold Sir Ernest William Sanders Montagu and P D L Finn at various times Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> Resident Commissioner 
After the Jameson Raid, the British imperial government determined by order in council to appoint a resident commissioner to supervise the affairs of the British South Africa Company. Reporting to the High Commissioner for Southern Africa, who in turn reported to the Colonial Office in London, the resident commissioner's function was to protect African interests and to prevent the company from inducing another expensive rebellion. 5 December 1898 – 1 April 1905, Sir Marshall James Clark 1 April 1905 to 1 April 1908, Richard Chester Master. 1 April 1908 to 1 April 1911, James George Fair. 1 April 1911 to 1 April 1915, Robert Burns Begg. 1 April 1915 to 1 April 1918, Herbert James Stanley. 1 April 1918 to 1 October 1923, Crawford Douglas Douglas Jones. <laughs> 